Hey, Mets fans. Uh, we're looking at a uh, question here with the, the real value of investments, inflation. Uh, this was from May 2022, um, paper one. Uh, question 13, I think it was. Uh, so we have Juliana plans to invest money for 10 years in an account paying 3.5% interest, compounded annually, so just once per year. She expects the annual inflation rate to be 2%. Uh, which is less than her, what she's going to be getting in the account. So that's good news. She's going to be making a bit of money. Um, Juliana uh, would like to her investment to be worth a real value of $4,000 compared to current values. Uh, she's considering two options. One, put a lump sum in at the start of the 10-year period, let it rest there, and then buy whatever she's going to buy at the end of that 10 years. Uh, option two, she's going to put $1,000 in and then add a bit every year, add a, add a payment every year. So let's have a look at uh, part A then. Uh, so for this first option where we're going to put one amount in, Julian's going to put one amount in at the start, and we want it to be a worth a real value of $4,000. Well, that $4,000, let's imagine I'm buying um, a pile of bricks to build um Build a shed, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm buying a pile of bricks. If those bricks are worth $4,000 today and we're expecting inflation to average 2% per year, we need to work out, okay, that $4,000, those bricks are gonna go up uh, in price because of inflation uh, and they will go up to uh, $4,000 times 1.02 to the power of 10 because we're increasing by 2%. We're adding that 0 0.02. Uh, hopefully this is familiar to you there. So that is what the cost of those bricks is gonna be uh, in terms of how many dollars uh, physically, physically it will cost we're expecting in that 10 years. So how much do we have to put in, or how, how much does Juliana have to put in? Well, she has to put a certain amount of money into the account that's going to increase by 3.5% over those 10 years. So what amount does she input into a bank account that's going to increase by 3.5% every year for 10 years that's going to equal that $4,000 if it's rising by 2% every year. So this equation here is going to solve us this problem. We've got the real value of the investment and then we're saying how much do I put in with that 3.5% increase. Because this is uh, compounding annually, we can keep it simple like this. We don't have to use uh, the more complex uh, compound interest formula. Uh, I could also do this in a couple of different ways. Oh, I might show you one other way on the graphical display calculator. But for now, let's just show you how to solve this one. So we'll go to our calculator and we'll go to uh, equation and we'll go to the solver. Uh, and I've already put that equation in there. So x times 1.035 to the power of 10 equals uh, 4,000 times 1.02 to the power of 10. Let's check that's right, yeah. And then we'll click solve, and we get this. And just make sure that sounds sensible. $3,456.67. Yeah, I'd say $3,400. If, if I'm making a little bit, I'm making a bit of a bonus because my interest rate is good in my account. Yeah, that's going to rise to the equivalent of $4,000 in 10 years time. Um, so if we look at what we got on the calculator there, we've got 3456.67. Go back to the question, give your answer to the nearest dollar. So we must round that to the nearest dollar. That would be an annoying mark to lose if we didn't do that last little step. Um, I'll show you a slightly different way to do that to same uh, calculation. If we wanted to use the financial uh, part of our calculator there, we can go to the compound interest, the main one we're going to use. So we've got compounding periods, n is the compounding periods, we've got 10 of those. Uh, the interest rate is 3.5% in my account. Uh, the principal value, the present value, uh, sorry, is, is what we're going to find out. Uh, there's no payment, not for, option, uh, not for part A of this question anyway. Uh, the future value we want to equal 4,000 times 1.02 to the power of 10. So if we put that in here, 
times 1.02 to the power of 10. Uh, and then payments per year and compound uh, periods per year we put as one. So what do I need as my present value with an interest rate of 3.5%? But if we click the present value, you'll see we get that same amount there. And it's a minus because it's going from my pocket to the bank. So another method for doing it. And this one's quite nice because this will give us some of the information that we want for option two. Option two, we definitely need to reach for the financial package because it's got some regular payments. Pretty much uh, all of those questions, it's, as soon as you see there's a regular payment either uh, in or out of an account, loans and annuities, those sorts of questions, go for the financial package, calculate the payment uh, on the calculator there. So going on to part B then, we need to set up what we're going to put into our calculator. Always write this out in your um, in your working. Show what you've understood. Input the correct values here, and you can even get marks for working out. So we have still ten compounding periods. We still have an interest rate of three point five percent. Present value. We're starting by putting a thousand dollars into the bank. So that is negative. It's gone from. Juliana's pocket into the bank. She can't spend that, it's in the bank. So negative 1,000. Payment is what we're gonna try and find out. How much does she need to pay in each year to get this up to that uh, value? And the future value, again, we've got to use this kind of real value calculation here. $4,000 increasing by 2% per year for 10 years. Payments per year, compounding periods per year. When we do that in the calculator uh, and we find payment, uh, you should find you at minus 295 because it's a payment it's going from the pocket to the bank and to the nearest dollar again 295 dollars there we go